This chess master thought I was a beginner player. A few months ago, I went to a massive chess festival in London with top grandmasters such as David Howell, Michael Adams, Gavin Jones and many others. After reading a sign that said, challenge a chess master, I thought this would make an interesting YouTube video. While I only have a 2000 rating on chess.com, my opponent is a 2200 rated FD master. However, after messing up my opening, she completely underestimated me and was in for a big surprise. I open with e4 and the master responds with d6, looking to play my favorite opening, the king's Indian defense. I spent some time thinking, trying to remember my preparation and played d4. I continue with h3 and later g4, as I recall seeing Hikaru Nakamura playing in a similar style, looking to put the bishop under the diagonal, castle, and set up a massive pawnstorm on the king's side. However, the engine does not like my position. The master, confused with my move order, plays an inaccuracy, c5. I decide to capture the pawn and block the check with my bishop, hoping that the queen would feel misplaced on c5 and be easily kicked around. I was right. Both of us continue developing our pieces, and after bishop to e3, my opponent makes a horrible blender by playing queen to b4, which targets my pawn on b2. Without much calculation, I play a3, realizing that if black takes the pawn, her queen will be completely trapped after rook to a2. But after queen to a5 and b4, I miss a huge opportunity to play b5, which would have simply won me a piece as the black bishop would have no safe squares to go to. Instead, I play rook to c1 and the master immediately plays a6, preventing me from playing b5 and equalizing the game. I jump in with my knight to d5 and manage to trade off black's powerful dark square bishop. With c4 and f4, I get a big space advantage on both sides of the board. Later, I play f5, sacrificing a pawn with the idea of somehow creating a devastating attack against the black king. After black hides her king on h8, I continue with my plan and play h6. But that is a terrible mistake, as black is ready to double her rooks on the g-file and launch a decisive counterattack. However, the master makes the worst move of the game and plays e4. I immediately spot that this opens up the d4 square for my queen, which will cause massive problems for the black king. But at this point, I start to question myself. Did I miss something? Am I actually going to win against the FD master? Will I get a prize? As my clock started ticking down, I shook myself out of it and confidently played queen to d4. My opponent's reaction gave everything away. She knows she's in big trouble. Low on time, she plays rook to g6, trying to protect the knight, but after bishop to e4, I not only win the rook, but also quickly trade down into a completely winning endgame. With an extra rook and more time on the clock, victory is only inches away from me. However, it is never too late to make one bad move and give away the entire advantage. With a heart rate around 200, I managed to trade off black's queenside pawns and create an unstoppable passed pawn supported by my knight and my rook. And after rook to d3 check, my opponent's clock runs out, we shake hands, and I win my first game against the chess master.